This is a universal modular shaped charge system called the Spalach. This is Spalach, and this is Spalach Plus. What's the difference? With Spalach Plus, a combat engineer can insert plastic explosives inside. Depending on the task at hand and the type of munition, you can load a different amount of explosive. The 35 years old commander of an engineering and demining unit known by his call sign Lisnik demonstrates his invention for humanitarian demining. He spent nearly two years developing it. His main goal, he says, was to reduce the amount of explosives needed to neutralize unexploded munitions. We were only given small amounts of TNT, but we had to destroy a wide variety of shells, mines, and more. I went abroad for training, picked up some ideas there, and then took some things from old Soviet manuals. Over a year and a half, we developed this device. There's nothing complicated, it's basic physics. Using a shaped charge, we burn out or destroy the munitions. The Spalach system is fully modular and can be used to neutralize a wide range of munitions. As Lisnik said, it's already in use on the front lines. The principle is simple. Plastic explosives are placed inside a 3D printed capsule. Then comes the core, a sharp copper cone that creates the explosive jet. It's inserted inside and secured. Then a ring is added, depending on how much explosive is used. If it's 40 grams, one ring is used. If it's less, two or three are installed. Then, using a remote detonator, a separate triggers the device at the distance. To neutralize a 100 mm elderly shell with spalach, only 40 grams of plastic explosive is needed. Normally, that would require about 800 grams of TNT, 20 times more. <laughs> Attention, open fire. Over 500 explosive devices have already been neutralized using Spalach on the Mikolaev and Kharkiv fronts. Recently, Lisnik and his team used to destroy an unexploded FAB 500 aerial bomb. Detonating a FAB 500. We'll try using the electric shaped charge. The new system not only saves explosives, but also minimizes environmental damage. When detonated, shells and mines don't shatter into thousands of deadly fragments. In most cases, they remain largely intact. The engineers admit the new invention is compact, simple to use, and most importantly, far more efficient than the old Soviet TNT blocks. We'll keep working with what we have and keep improving it. This is much better. Today's technologies are more advanced. They're finding better, safer and more precise ways to detonate various types of munitions. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine is already aware of this military innovation. In fact, the system has passed state trials and once the war ends, it's slated for mass use in humanitarian demining efforts. Reported by Alexandra Zaslavis, Natalia Bilokudre, Andriy Domovy from Kharkiv region, UATV News.